All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today I am wading a very small creek for smallmouth, goggle eye, pickerel, and largemouth. Looks like there's a fish right in front of me. It looks like a nice bass. We go finally guys I think it's a goggle eye yes it is all right I got him on that avocado crawl made by firetail crawl my last video I was mistaken at calling it a spro it's because they look very similar but it is a firetail crawl in the color of avocado it's really awesome Caught me a lot of fish that day, so I decided to try it again in a different creek. All right, first fish of the day, a little five inch shadow bass. It's a start, been a slow first hour. There we go, smallmouth. Finally. On the fire tail crawl.
Alright, nice little wall here. There we go. All right, hell yeah. Nice small mouth. Little better. Oh, we had one shadow one, guys. Now that's more like it. On the suicide chat. He's still small, he's about 10 inches, which it's a big improvement considering the kind of day I'm having. Something nice, guys. I'm standing in water up to my shoulders and got a big one. I got something really nice here. Oh my. I don't know what it is, but it's big. It's four or five pounds. Oh, it's a gigantic pet, girl. I gotta walk this thing all the way about a couple hundred yards through this hole. Oh man, now that's what I came after. A fish like this. I knew there'd be some, oh man, he's really nice. Oh yeah, he's 19 or 20 inches easily. Oh my. Yeah. Okay, he's hooked good enough. I should be fine. Just gotta get him through this hole. He's a really nice one. All right, guys, of all the bad luck I had, I had, my battery went dead while I was walking this fish over. I did land him. I do not have a tape measure, but he's about 20 or 21 inches. If I would have just had my six pound line without the 17 pound leader for the last three feet, I would have never have gotten them. I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't have got them. That was a good hook set right there. destroyed my lure big time. That is a nice pickerel, guys. I want to say he's 20. <sighs> These things are so slippery, I can't stand it sometimes. That's why they call them snot rockets. My gosh! They're just horrible to hold. That is a nice pickerel, though. Without a doubt. Wow. To put a lot of work and effort into getting this fish. Yeah, he's right at 20. I want to say 20 inches. Nice little pickerel. He put up one hell of a fight. I knew I had something decent as soon as I set the hook. Now I gotta change my lure. Let's get him back in. guys I managed to hook into one nice large mouth on my walk up here I had a three pounder jump off and I had a mystery I'm just slowly fishing as I walk back so it isn't the end of the video I finally got all four kinds that I've been after 
and I actually sight fished him. He was in two feet of water in this log. And uh, yes. And I got really lucky and got him. I can't believe he bit after he sat there and stared at me. These fish will surprise you sometimes how unspookable they are, especially when it's overcast like this. It took a lot of work to get him. A lot of walking to get him. I finally am a little more content. I had a really bad day. I, all in all, I've had four nice fish get off today. Two of them were pickerels. No, three of them were pickerels. Yeah, two were pickerels, one with a big, large mouth, twice the size of this guy. And then you got the uh, mystery fish. Yeah, two pickerel, large mouth, and a mystery fish. Alright, guys, he is not that bad. Pretty nice. Shad, suicide shad. <clears throat> that really helped my day right there. All right. Hey, hey. Six pound main line, 17 pound Cajun leader, three feet. And it's because of the pickle I have to do that. He's a pretty little largemouth, right out of power, but I'm happy to get him. I'm so happy. Guys, I got a pickerel on, but it's got me hung. Please stay on there. Oh yeah, he's still on there. Oh, he's wrapped around a log or something here. Oh man, it's gonna break my line if I'm not careful. He's still pulling. Oh, what he's got me hung in a root wad of some kind. There he is. Oh, there we go. Stay on this time. I'm tired. Tired of losing fish. Oh, I'm battling some deep water again and some swift current on top of that. He's about 17. Oh, if I get him, I ended up getting two more fish just on the way back and lost a big one. All right, I got him. Got him with my hand anyway. Yeah, he's about 17. Heck yeah. That's what it's about, guys, right there. I ain't got him yet, but he's hooked pretty good. He's hooked good. Well, I'm lucky I got him. suicide chat and I'm lucky I got him real lucky I got him because he got me hung but somehow I managed to get him even though he got me hung I went out and got it he had me wrapped around a root wad and I'm lucky it was on my main line part though that's why you got to make your leader long suicide chat Tennessee shad not a bad little pickerel. He might, yeah, he's about right at 17. All right, I'm going to get him back in. I'm pressed for time now. Pretty little pickerel. All 
right, guys, I got the bass of the day now. Out of this little bitty tiny hole, but there was a log laying there. Oh, yeah, he's two pounds at least, or a pound and a half. Oh, finally. Well, that's a spotted way up here. I can't believe how far these spotted bass come up the river over the years, guys. I can remember when there was not a one here. Not a one. Over the years, they come further and further. That's a pretty spotted bass, though. Got him on the suicide chat. So, guys, what happened was the, the day sucked. The middle of the day was absolutely horrible. As the evening progressed, it got better and better. It's a pretty spotted bass and blood red eyes. <gasps> wow. So, I ended up getting a couple extra fish just on the walk back. Heck yeah. I did not expect to get him in that. I was really just fooling around. It really, it's only honestly about two foot deep, but he was sitting there anyway. My goodness, and he could have easily got me snagged. 